Hey guys, I'm Brett with DJI and we're partnered with Sammy's Camera on this one. In this video, we're gonna go through the ins and outs of getting your DJI Ronin gimbal set up, balanced, and ready to use with your camera. Now, before we dive in, let's take a look at everything we get with a Ronin gimbal, like the RS3 or RS3 Pro, as well as some of the extra accessories you get when you buy one of our combo kits. So let's open up our combo kit and take a look at everything that we have. Inside of the case, we're gonna get the removable power grip, the phone holder, mini tripod mount, our Raven Eye video transmitter, which is included in the Pro Combo, dual handle grip, extended base plate. We have all the pieces for our zoom and focus motor, which is here with our rod attachment and our base plate. And we finally have our Manfrotto style plate. On the other side of this case, of course we have our gimbal, which includes all of the required cables in order to get set up properly. Let's get everything unpacked and we'll get started on balancing. So first, we'll install the battery grip and then we'll lock it down using this lever right here. We'll install the mini tripod and get this standing up on the table. Now there are three axes to the gimbal and each axis has their own kind of cool little locks built into them. So we're gonna move this into the balancing position by unlocking and relocking our gimbal. And we're almost ready for balancing. Now these locks keep this thing secured when you're storing it away, but they can also be used for balancing your gimbal, which of course is what we're gonna do. So, on the tilt axis, all you have to do is slide down the lock, move it back into its locking position. You should be just about ready to go. Do this for the roll axis as well. The pan axis remains in the same position, so we're just gonna leave it as it is for now. With the gimbal locked and ready for balancing, let's get everything else set up. Now, it's important to set up your camera and any accessories for how you intend to shoot before you start balancing your gimbal. This includes removing any lens caps, attaching lens hoods, adding filters, yada yada. Next, we'll connect our camera to the two-in-one quick release plate system. The two-in-one plate is awesome because it's compatible with Manfrotto style connections, but you can also detach the top portion. And now it works with any Arca Swiss connections. What's also cool is after you've balanced your gimbal, you can quickly remove the top portion, make any changes to your camera that you need, like swapping batteries, and then simply reinsert the Arca portion, lock it in, and get right back to shooting. And you don't need to rebalance because you haven't really changed much. Next, let's attach our zoom and focus motor. Before you're doing this, if you're filming with a lens that doesn't have built-in gears, we'll need to attach the gear ring that's included in the combo pack. Also, to use the focus motor from the combo kit, we'll need to connect this special Arca plate with the female screw threads on the side. Now for the motor, we have four pieces here. We have a rod holder, which attaches to the quick release plate, the plate itself, a small rod, and of course, the motor. So first, we'll screw the rod holder into the bottom of the Arca portion plate. Next, we'll insert the rod into the rod holder and tighten it down with this lever. Then, we'll attach the motor to the rod. And we'll tighten this for now. Next, we'll screw in the Argus Swiss portion into the bottom of our camera. Then we'll line up the focus motor with the gear ring on our lens, adjust it so it's fitted and then lock it down. And that's it for the motor. Now, with the gimbal still locked up, let's attach the camera and lock it down. So we'll insert the Manfrotto style plate connection first in through the front side. Move it to around the middle position here and lock it with that lever. Then we'll insert the Arca portion 
into the Manfrotto plate and we'll use the lever on the back to lock it into position. Now before balancing, we still need to attach all of our cables inside the box. Now we have all the cables that we need included uh, for different camera brands for attaching to the focus motor and more. First, let's find the cable for powering our motor, which is this USB-C to USB-C cable right here. Just plug one end into the motor and the other end into the middle USB-C port. Now the bottom port is typically reserved for the DJI transmission system or the Raven Eye module. In the absence of either of those devices, you can connect a second focus motor here, but generally the focus motor should be in the middle USB-C slot. Next, I'll install the Raven Eye module. Now that we're all set up how we want, we're ready for balancing. Now, achieving perfect balance is crucial for capturing stable footage and getting the best battery life. So, let's balance our Ronin gimbal. Our goal with balancing is simple. With each axis unlocked, we want to be able to move our camera by hand to any position, and it will remain still when we let go. Now, it might seem a little bit complicated, but balancing couldn't be easier. We'll unlock each axis one at a time, and if we see our camera move or fall into any direction, we're simply gonna adjust the position into the opposite direction. Now keep your hands close by your camera to catch it so things remain safe. There are three axes to balance, the tilt axis, the roll axis on the back, and the pan axis on the bottom. Let's start by balancing the tilt axis first, which is a two to three step process. First, with your hand underneath your camera to catch it from falling, unlock the tilt axis. Hold your camera straight forward and briefly let it go and then catch it again. Now, since our camera is falling forward, we simply need to move it backward in order to counterbalance. Unlock the plate latch that's on the side. Use this knob to move the adjustment back and forth. And as we get closer, we'll only need to make smaller and smaller adjustments. And that's pretty good. And we can hold it forward and let go to make sure it's in balance. Just a quick tip, if you're using a zoom lens like I am, set your focal length right in the middle of your range and then balance from there to avoid having any sort of issues. So now we're gonna move on to the next step for the tilt axis. Next, we're gonna face our lens straight up. And since it's falling in this direction, we just need to move it in the opposite direction. Again, don't let go, just to make sure your camera's safe. So what I'll do is I will use this knob to loosen my adjustment, move the camera up, periodically let go to make sure you're in balance or not yet. And as you get closer, like we are now, you can see it's pretty good, but small adjustments may be required. Lift up and tighten this lever down. Now aim this straight forward again, and double check that our camera stays pointing forward. It's perfectly normal if it's slightly out of balance again here. We may need to make just a slight adjustment and then lock it down again. Great, now that's one axis down, and the other two are even easier. We're gonna move on to the roll axis. First, we'll lock up the tilt axis on the back. We'll unlock the roll axis on the side. And then now it's the same process. We're going to let go of our camera and we can see it falling to one side. We simply need to loosen this lever on the back side, make our adjustment to the roll axis, occasionally checking to see if we're getting closer by letting go. And as we get closer, we're balanced. Now, we're gonna leave this axis unlocked because we're gonna move on to the pan axis on the bottom. So we're gonna keep this on a flat surface. We're gonna unlock the pan axis using this switch. And then we're gonna simply tilt our gimbal to the side. And we can see it moving in this direction as if it's being kind of 
pushed by our hand. So we simply need to move that weight forward a little bit. We do that by using this lever on the bottom, making our adjustment, and then tilting our camera to the slide. Hey, that's pretty good. Awesome, a Ronin gimbal is balanced and almost ready to go. So let's power this sucker on. With each axis unlocked, push and hold this power button on the side for just a moment, and you'll hear the gimbal turn on. If at any point you want to put the motors into standby mode, so you can make changes like swapping out batteries or lenses or anything, double press the power button right here, and the auto locks on RS3 and RS3 Pro will engage and turn off the motor's power, which is very cool. Double press the power button to turn the motors back on and unlock things. Now that this thing is powered on, there's one more thing to take care of before shooting. We need to auto-tune the motor strength. Now, this is done very easily using the RS3 and RS3 Pro's front touchscreen. Simply tap this icon on the top left of the main page, and then tap Start Calibration. Now during the calibration process, movement, vibrations, and noise are all perfectly normal. The auto-tuning process is gonna make for the best results possible for your shooting experience while taking away some of the guesswork for you. But that's it. We've balanced our Ronin gimbal, tweaked a few settings, and we're ready to start shooting. And be sure to download the DJI Ronin app for iOS and Android for the best shooting experience. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment on the video and we'll get back to you. Thank you guys for having DJI as a part of this. You guys stay awesome. And until the next one, we'll see ya.